Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to get mouse over effects working in Adobe Edge. I know some of you have been having problems with this and that's because back in June 2014, Adobe changed the system uh, by which you put these into Edge. So if you watch any tutorials made before that date, they'll be showing you an old system that doesn't work anymore. So I'm very quickly gonna run through the new system and tell you how to get mouse over and mouse out events working in Edge. I'm going to start by bringing a couple of images into uh, Edge. I'm just going to drag them onto the screen. Here's our button that we're going to make click. See what I did there? Basically, got, got two PNG images, a dark one and a light one. And what we're going to make happen is we're going to get rid of this for now by pressing delete, which is to move this into the center of the screen. And this is going to be our button. And what we're going to make it do is when we roll over it, we're going to make it fade brighter and then fade dark again when we roll out of it and we'll also show you how to uh, put a click effect on it so that when you click it it does something first thing to understand is that these things on the stage are currently images what we need to do is turn them into symbols because symbols have got their own timeline where we can do things like fade in and fade out so the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the menu and from modify I'm going to convert to symbol and we need to give it a name but symbol one will do for now the thing I'm going to also do is turn off auto play the symbol is going to have its own timeline and I don't want that timeline to play unless I mouse over it so we'll turn that off and then press OK and you'll see our button down here has changed to symbol one if we double click it we're in the timeline for symbol one and what we're going to do here is we're going to take our light button and we're just going to drop that over the top of our existing button. See it's appeared over here. And we're going to put a bit of animation on it. We're going to animate up here its visibility. We're going to start with its visibility at zero. Put a keyframe in. Move a little way up the timeline. Turn the visibility up to 100. A little way further down the timeline and turn it back down. So you can see we've got a keyframe where it's 0%, keyframe where it's 100%, keyframe where it's 0%. And if I scroll through the timeline, you'll see it fades up and fades down again. What we're going to do is we're going to make that happen automatically. We're going to want it to fade up and then stop. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to attach a trigger. Basically, this is just a little bit of code that does something. So I'm going to click this, it's going to pop up a little window, just move that onto the screen so you can see it. And what I want to happen when it gets to this point, so when it's faded up to maximum brightness, I want playback to stop. So I choose playback, I choose stop, and this is the new bit. This is the bit that wasn't in most of the tutorials that you've been following that have been causing problems. You now tell it what you want the playback to stop on. And there are two things. There are our stage, which is the main timeline, and this symbol. What we want to stop is this symbol. So we click that, we click that, and it tells you up here to press enter to finish or delete to cancel. So I'm just gonna press enter. And it's written the code for us. The code in this case was sim.stop, open brackets, close brackets, semicolon. You don't need to understand that, it's written it all for you. So let's just close this. And we're going to go back to our main timeline. A little button up here that does that. So now here's our stage. We've got our symbol and we want to add some code to this symbol that says, when the mouse goes over, play it. So what you do is you right click on the symbol and open the actions for symbol one. And here's a list of all the possible actions. The one we want is mouse over. What do we want to do when we mouse over? We want playback, just normal playback for symbol one. So what this is gonna do is when we mouse over, we're going to play back the symbol one. That's the action, that's the target. Once you understand the idea of what do you want to do, an action on a target. Again, press enter to finish. There we go. Close that. And now if we test this in a browser, there's a shortcut for that, which I'll just press. There we go. We've got our image. When we mouse over it, it'll fade up. So we're halfway there. 
The next bit's slightly more complicated. We'll just come out of that for now. What we want to do is we want to add an extra action that when we mouse over, we play the rest of that little animation I had. And we're going to need a way to tell the program the rest of the animation is the bit we want. The way we do that is we go back into the timeline for that object by double clicking on it. And we need to play it from this point about here. So we play the fade out bit when the mouse over goes over there. The way we do that is we need to put some sort of label here that says this is the point we want to play from. And you do that by clicking this little triangle here. And we'll call our label, you can call it anything you like. I'm going to call it fade out, all in lowercase. So that's attached a little label to this position in the timeline. So we can now tell the program that when the mouse rolls out of this symbol, play from that fade out marker onwards. Okay, so we do that back in the main timeline. So we are back in the main timeline. Right click to choose an action. We can open the actions. You'll see the one we've got already, the mouse over. We'd add another one, so we click plus. And mouse out is the one we want. So when the mouse moves off the symbol, we're gonna make it fade out. So we want to play back, but here we want to play from that label we chose. We'll choose symbol one. And at this point, again, we hit enter to finish. And it defaults to playing from position 1000. That's not actually what we want. We want to play from that label we created. We'll do that just by typing it in here. Remember the name we used, and that's turned orange to show the syntax has worked. So, we can just close this. We'll get test it in the browser again. There's our new version. Roll over, it fades up. Roll off, it fades out again. Back to our code again, we'll put the third thing we wanted in, which is to make something happen when we click this button. Again, that's an action that we apply to our symbol. Right click, open the actions. We see the two we've got, we've got the mouse out and the mouse over. We want to add another one, so that's the plus button again. And click. So what happens when we click? We want to link in a new window and you don't have to pick a target for that, it's already happened. So it tells you here, pick an action instead. And Adobe being Adobe, I've set a default. So if you include a link to somewhere, it assumes you want to link to adobe.com. Funnily enough, you generally don't. So let's just replace that bit with another website. Google.com, that'll do. And then we can just close this and test it again. There we are, we're back in the browser. So now we can fade in, fade out as much as we like. And if we click, we go to Google. So that's really all there is to it. You should be naming your things more carefully and you should be saving as you go along and you shouldn't really be using defaults and using a button as a button is a terribly bad joke. But apart from that, these are the basics you need to understand. If you want different things to happen when you roll over, go into the timeline for the symbol you've created and do different things. I use a fade in and fade out to a different image. You could change the color, you could change the size, you could make it move slightly when you roll over it. Lots of different options there. All work the same way. Hope this has helped.